You know when YouTubers start their videos with uh, corny things, like cringy things, like guys like this video for nothing, like this video and I'll stop doing your mom, you know that kind of stuff? No, the intro's like one minute long, like come on bro, just get to the video. That's just something i just been thinking about lately, I don't know, it just pisses me off, but um, that's not what I wanted to talk about today as a matter. So anyways, you saw the video title, you saw the thumbnail, and you were like, well sensitive, didn't you just end furry zoo files like about a month ago? Recently, I saw this post and it blew up, I came out as a zoo file and now my parents won't allow me to be alone with the family dog to the few people who don't know what a sioux fall is in a nutshell it's uh who likes dogs not like you and i but um these people want to give them that extra love that extra love you want to give your crush if you catch my drift you know what i'm saying in a nutshell that's what's going on they're way way too into dogs let's just read about this strong and powerful and brave coming out statement as a sioux file i have been a furry since birth the hot meat under my fur got relief of every time i saw a strong fur cover figure barking okay buddy i know that society hasn't accepted us yet but they also didn't accept my lgbtqc square o w u n alleys for a long time i recently realized my true sexual orientation as a sue file with help of twitter let me stop you right there if you went to twitter and got advice from twitter people i am very sorry to say this but you're one of the stupidest people i've ever met small brain moment do not take advice from twitter users because most twitter users are either a pedophiles or a 12 year old who think they know everything when they really don't so i wouldn't take advice from twitter i'd rather take advice from someone on reddit with the help of twitter i am now using the fur sir neo pronoun so how about i don't respect that am i an edge lord probably but um i really don't think someone like this deserves an ounce of respect not even a poquito amount of respect not to something this fucking disgusting i was very proud of my courage you shouldn't be and wanted to share this accomplishment with my parents i thought they would be understanding <laughs> <laughs> holy fuck i think i got covid hold up a second so you're telling me you decided to do this and you thought your parents would be accepting of you coming out of sue file yeah my son is a sue file i am so proud of him you know let's give him a fucking car i think he deserves it why don't you fuck that you all next week if this guy was my dog walker or was my neighbor and i found out you know my neighbors into puppies and two dogs i might move out but not before i do something about it <laughs> Like, how delusional do you have to be in order to think your parents will be proud that you're banging dogs instead of humans? If I had a kid and they told me that, oh my god, you know, that's society, I'm sorry, but I'm coming out as a sue file. I would say, pack your things and get the fuck out of here, bitch. Let's just continue. And since my parents started shouting at me and asking, shouting, I don't know why I can't talk right now. Why can't I just be normal? And they forbid me from taking the family dog for walks, saying that it acts weird after being alone with me. What? And they had their suspicious and can't trust me. Listen, if the dog is acting weird after you take him for your little walks, which let's be honest, you just take him to the back of the 7-Eleven parking lot and you just bang it. Let's just call it what it is. I'll definitely kick you out of my house. Maybe beat you up. I don't know. Depends. You have to be delusional. You legitimately have to straight up be one of the most delusional people ever. And you think your parents are going to be okay with you banging the family dog. Like, come on. I tried to reassure them that I would never do anything without consent and they are overreacting. And then most, can I consent? That is a fact. Look it up. And you may tell me, well, sensitive, maybe when they nod their hand, maybe when they take their tongue out yeah that's every dog ever every dog has its tongue out so am i just supposed to stick my penis in their mouth let me just say this for the record if you fuck animals i fucking hate you and i wish you nothing but the worst i wish you aids a second of all bro 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 like out of everything you could bang you decide to bang a dog <laughs> Well, pretty much rape it because animals cannot consent. Let me make that clear. They cannot consent. So that's definitely illegal, man. Taking my dog out to the park got many handsome fur beasts attracted towards her. And it was so fun for me. Also, they stopped leaving me alone with the dog and always keep eyeing me. <laughs> around in the house this makes me so angry not just because of blends to phobia there's some there's a new phobia here but they look at me like i am some weirdo if this isn't bait if this isn't satirical i fear for the future generations ladies and gentlemen suphobia the parents are suphobic i am proud to be suphobic I am proud to be fatphobic. Want to add any more to the play to my list? I wish they got educated about my identity and are more accepting towards Xur? Xur, what the fuck? Yeah, this is what Twitter does to someone. If you have a kid, please, for the love of God, blog Twitter. Some context. OP, original poster. It's 19. Found this guy's Twitter and apparently he is a full-time furry with 30k tweets and 20k followers. Let me stop you right here. If you have over 30,000 tweets, you are legit the biggest fucking loser on planet Earth. Imagine tweeting 30,000 times. 30,000 tweets for a furry? This guy is bitchless. Chances are high this shit is real. Wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me. Curiosity got the 
best of me and I digged up deeper and read some things about him admiring the innocent of puppies left in a task. So I see a lot of people say, oh, your sensitive society is this phobic, this phobic, he hates furries. Well, I know that not all furries are fucking evil. Like, I, I can't believe I have to say it, but of course. But it's like, assuming everyone is horrible, unless it's like pedophiles, like that group, of course. You know what I mean? But it's like when they say all cops are bad. All of them? So when I hear stuff like that, like, you know, the argument is invalid. But Sioux Files, on the other hand, I think all of them are horrible. I think all of them need to be thrown into the hospital and they should never come out. That's what I say. But hey, I'm just a YouTuber with some thoughts. Subscribe. Maybe, like, maybe, and claim your free taco if you subscribe, all right? Peace.